Hey guys, it's Courtney and welcome to my last video of 2014 and I know everyone else is doing these super cool like 2014 rewind videos but <laughs> I can't do that. I can't because I don't know how to edit so and I do have videos that I could do that with but I don't have any type of editing system whatsoever to do that. So today I'm going to be doing my best 2014 memories and I'm going to be telling you about some of them and like what I I don't know, my favorite memories from this year. So, um, let's get started. I did so many great things this year, and I'm super, super happy and grateful for everything that I got to do. So, I wrote down a list. This is on my old phone. And I just, like, kind of emailed the list to myself. Is it going to focus? Is it going to focus? No. Oh, there you go. Okay. Um, so... The first one I have on the list is Digitor, and uh, in parentheses I put O2L because that's what I saw. I saw O2L, and uh, now that O2L is like over and it's ended and stuff, I'm so even more grateful that I got to see them this year. Um, that was like probably at the time it was my the best experience of my life because like um, I had never done anything like that before. It was like my first like YouTube event thing, and it was so much fun. And um, you really got to interact with them, even though I wasn't. I didn't meet them because I wasn't like VIP list, but they were like outside a lot and they were interacting with people. It was so much fun and oh, it was great. It was, I couldn't even, like when, when that happened to me, I was like, yes, this is the best experience of my entire life. But now there's so many other things that I could say or that, but um, yeah, Digitor was super fun. The next one on my list is Digifest and Digifest is the one where I did get to meet people. Um, we were literally in the car on the way there and somebody DM'd Joy on Twitter and was like, it was like Digisaur or something and they were like, you're, you have VIP tickets and you're at the front of the VIP line. So they like gave us free VIP and it was so great and I thought it wasn't legit so we went there and we like got in the VIP line and we showed them our little thing and they were like, oh yeah, you guys can go and I was like, you're joking. And so we met like Matt Spinoza, Trevor Moran, um... Kenny Holland, why can't I remember any other ones? Ricky Thompson. Um, there were other people there that I don't know. Oh, like Daniel Sky and like all them. But um, that was so much fun because that was the first time I ever met somebody famous and it was great. It was so much fun. It really was so much fun. Um, they, it was like mostly like a singing event, like Digifest Massachusetts. Like no one gave a crap about Digifest Massachusetts. Like there's no like professional videos like there was for NYC, but that's okay. Um, I still had a really great time. So, okay, playlist live. Playlist live is pretty recent, and this is definitely my favorite thing of this entire year. It was one million times better than I could have ever ever expected it to be. Like. I didn't think I was actually going to go. Like, I asked my parents for tickets, and I was like, can I please go? Like, I want to go to this so badly. And, I like, they were kind of, like, contemplating it for a while, and I didn't think they were going to get them for me. And they did, and I was like, <gasps> like, Luke Horns. Oh, my God. Okay, okay, okay. This is going to be a separate thing on the list, just meeting Luke. But, yeah, at Playlist Live, we met so many people, and, like, we got to stay in a hotel, and we got to go to, like, the convention center and everything. It was so much fun. It was probably the best experience of my entire life ever up until this point of 14 years. Um, and I really, really want to go next year. So, yeah, and I met a lot of great people at Playlist Live, too. Um, like, friends, not just, like, YouTubers. And we still talk now, so Playlist Live was... Getting off the topic of YouTube events, um, I have meeting Cole down as one of my best experiences of 2014. Um, I didn't realize that I actually met Cole this year, like 2014, and I did, and um, it was like right when, it was, it was like, I met Cole January 7th, so like it was right after 2014 started, and I'm so grateful that I met him because he's one of my best friends, and I don't know what I would do if I wasn't friends with him right now, like, who would I be talking to? I don't know. But, um, we're almost, I've almost known him for a year. So, in a couple days, I would have known Cole for an entire year. And I love Cole, and he's super cool, and yeah, I love you, so. The next thing on my list is meeting Fifth Harmony, and, um, I don't like Fifth Harmony. I'm just gonna say that right now, but Joy won, um, a VIP thing, like, 
a contest and she was like do you want to come so i was like yeah of course i want to come so um we went and we had like pizza with them and they did like a q a and it was fun and i don't i don't know fifth harmony like i'm not a fifth harmony fan so like i had to like learn their names in the car and stuff but it was still really fun and i'm glad i got to meet them because they're pretty cool another really good experience of 2014 is just meeting new friends from like youtube and from twitter i've met so many great people from like youtube and twitter <laughs> um like i've been meeting people that like like the same people as me like yesterday i met some girl that's like obsessed with jack dale and i'm like yes let's talk because none of my friends want to talk about jack dale with me so let's go and um i met like people that are fans of luke and i've met people that just like the same things as me and like then we start talking and then we become friends and then like the people in my collab channel right now like i met most of them at playlist live and look at us now so yeah um that was it's just a really good experience to do that okay the next one on my list is meeting luke corns and i could go on and on and on and on and on about this but i'm just gonna kind of tell you guys what happened because it really was the best experience luke corns is my number one everything number one like you don't even understand so when we went into the hotel joy was like what if luke's in here and i was like that's not funny like luke wouldn't be in here so we went to the bathroom because we had to pee we were in the car for like two hours and we walked out of the bathroom and joy's like that's luke corns and i'm like stop no that's not luke corns she's like yeah that's luke corns and mikey's right there too and i'm like like that's when my voice started getting all cracky and i was like no that's not luke corns and she was like yeah it's so we like went over to him and joy took a picture with them first because i was so afraid like luke is he's like my savior so like to go up to him and like ask him for a picture like that's hard to do so joy went up to them first and i was just kind of standing there like looking at them like you're real <laughs> you're real and so yeah and then after that we um i like took a picture with him i was like luke can i please take a picture and they were like leaving at the time so like i couldn't say very much to him and i was like luke can i please have a picture he's like sure just do it really quick and so i took a picture with him and then i lay down on the floor of the lobby and just kind of laid there for a second and i was like i just met luke corns like you don't he's my everything oh my god okay but anyways um and i knew i was going to meet him again on sunday because i was in his meetup and so we saw him around so much because he was in our hotel with like jack and mikey and so I saw him around a lot and I feel like he started to recognize me, which is good. Like, that's awesome. And there was a time where we were at like the YouTuber hotel, which is like the Hilton and we were staying somewhere else, but we go there to like meet people. And, um, Luke was coming down from the escalator and he saw me and Joy and I was like, I was like, hi Luke. And he was like, hi. And he came around and he just hugged both of us. And I was like, <gasps> and then he like, he, like that was it. Like he just walked away after that, but I was like, <laughs> Luke Horns just touched me again, but that was like not even Sunday yet. And then on Sunday was when I was in his meetup. And so I went to the meetup and I'm pretty sure Luke by then recognized me because he's like, I see this girl everywhere. And so I went up to him. I was like, hi, Luke. And he's like, hi. And then we t I took a picture and then he was like, let's do one more sad. So then we both did sad faces and we were like, and then I went to see, I saw Jack first. Oh, Jack. Oh, that's another story. I'll get on to that in a second. Actually, I'll just do Jack now, okay? Um, Jack. Wow. Um, so yeah, that's what happened with Luke, and then I cried, of course, afterwards, because, like, I'm leaving my number one person. It's sad. Um, Jack, though, Jack I met at the meetup and then at the let booth, and Jack at the meetup like he was kind of on his phone a lot like he wasn't really paying attention so i kind of just hugged him and took a picture and then that was it but at the let booth i walked over to him and i was like hi jack and he was like hi and he hugged me so like he hugged me so hard that his chair fell over and then i started sobbing and i was like <laughs> like i needed a minute because oh my god i love okay okay the next thing on my list is Raphael following me, and you guys probably don't remember, but Raphael was um, my number one, like, he was my favorite YouTuber for a really long time. Uh, I was, like, before, um, before Luke and all of them, and, like, before I knew about all of them, um, he followed me on Twitter, and I was so happy. I screamed so loud in the car. He was, like, my favorite thing ever, but then he unfollowed me, and that's, like, not the best memory, but, like, the best memory was the fact that 
I got to talk to him a lot and like he interacted with me a lot um and he followed me and then I I know he unfollowed me but like it was still a really fun like amazing thing that he followed me in the first place so thank you Raphael I still love him with all my heart and I wish that he went to playlist live because I would have loved to meet him the last best memory of 2014 that I can think of was get on my level in the four C's and that's my Skype groups um, we don't use the four C's anymore but the get on my level we use just about every day and they're all my best friends and I don't know what I would have done if I didn't meet them this year like what would I be doing right now I don't know but um they're all my best friends and I could don't know what I would do without them so thank you I love you all so much Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. And I hope you have a great new year. Um, there's going to be so many great things to come in 2015. I'm super, super excited. So, yes, thank you for watching. Um, comment down below some of your favorite memories of 2014. And I will talk to you guys next year.